Hello. Welcome to Hello. story time. Yes, thank you. And I'm presenting my audience in the form of a live stream. <laughs> Say hello, audience. Hello. The one person in the video box. Okay. Today's story is going to be about a very important moral principle. Natalie, tell me, do you do you lie? Do you like to lie? Do you lie? What are doing that? Do you like to lie, Natalie? No, but sometimes I do. Sometimes you do. How do you feel when you lie? Depends on the situation. If it is necessary to say the truth, I do it. But sometimes I just lie also. It just it reflects my day-to-day -day life. Okay. Sometimes it's necessary. I understand. That is not intentionally all the time. It just happens sometimes. Yeah. I understand. Well, today's story is going to be about a boy who lied. And hopefully okay. we're going to come away from this story with a little different perspective. A little extra something that's going to help us out in life. And so, there was once a boy in, in a pasture somewhere far away from where you're at now, a long time ago. The boy, the boy was bored. He sat around a lot. He didn't have a lot of wonder for the world. So, he decided to make up a little game for himself. His job was to overlook some sheep, and his game was to cry, WOLF! WOLF! The, the villagers, the villagers wanted to keep their, their sheep intact, so they all came running. And the boy, as they, they came over the hill and saw there was no wolf, the boy laughed laughed in their angry faces. The villagers just, they were angry and saddened. They said, don't, don't do that. Don't cry wolf when there's no wolf. And they, they walked away, thinking their job was done. Thinking the boy learned his lesson. Do you think the boy learned his lesson, Natalie? Yes. Really? The boy is bored, he has no wonder for the world, only to make up games. Do you think that was the, that was the last thing the villagers were going to hear about this game? Yes. Yes, okay. Well, it turns out, the boy was still bored. The boy still had no wonder no awe for the, the beautiful pastoral scene around him, the beautiful sheep, playing sheep games, prancing around as sheep do. No, he decided to cry once again. Wolf! Wolf! There's, there's a wolf chasing the beautiful sheep. And again, the villagers came sprinting over the hill, sprinting to see there was no wolf. Once again, the villagers, they were angry. They were more angry than before because they thought it was over with. But it wasn't. The boy laughed. And they're angry. They, they had veins popping out of their foreheads. They were so angry. And the boy laughed at the veins. He pointed. And he laughed. The villagers said again, you, you can't keep doing this. You can't keep lying about a wolf. The boy just chuckled and, and, 
And he went about his way. The villagers left again. And would then, you would you think would you think the boy learned his lesson the way he acted? Yes, now he will remember this fact that he shouldn't be lying all the time because people will not trust him anymore. And when he exactly needed help, nobody was there to help him out in that situation. Well, it turns out his fundamental attitude was still there. Still had no wonder for the world except to play games. Games that only hurt other people. And so he played his game again. He cried. Except this time, it wasn't a game. Because this time he saw a wolf. He saw the wolf. And he, he For said... For real? He saw a real wolf. He was coming for the sheep. Oh my god, then? And, and then... He shouted again, Wolf! There's really seriously a wolf, you guys. This time, it's really a wolf. He kept on crying. No. But nobody came. Natalie, nobody came. Why That's wouldn't true. they come? Because he was lying already for so many times. And they were tired of listening all the lies. That's right, Natalie. They had been conditioned to believe he would behave a certain way, so they didn't believe him anymore. They didn't want to believe any more lies because they were humiliated every time they came over that hill and they saw no wolf. So at sunset, everybody wondered. Everybody wondered why the shepherd boy hadn't returned. So they came to look for him, and they found all the sheep were missing. And the boy, the boy was weeping. One of the old men from the village comforted him and said, Look, you lied, and we couldn't trust you anymore. You can't, you can't lie and expect us to keep believing your lies. And so what's the moral of the story, Natalie? What did you what did you learn from this story? That never to lie. Or what happens? But people tend to lie. Even if they don't want to, but they are so much into a habit of telling lies on small little things. They just do it. They don't even realize it that they are lying. But they just do. And what happens when you find out somebody's been repeatedly lying to you? What happens between you and that person? I will not be able to trust that person ever again. It takes a lot to earn that trust back, doesn't it? Definitely, yes. Well, thank you for being such a kind audience. And for all of you that are silently watching, thank you for your participation. You're all worthy of love.